Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this design using React.js and uh, this is our progress as of now. We have designed all of this and we have also created a responsive version for all these sections except the header. So in this video, we will see how to make this header responsive. So let's get started. Right, let's go to our source code and uh, let's go to the header.css file and uh, here let's create a comment I'll just type tablet version and let's add a media query so I'll just type at media max width of 1040 pixels and let's go back to our Figma file and here we can see when we are on a tablet version the width of this element is smaller so if I select this we can see we have a width of 356 pixels so let's do that let's go back to our header.jsx file and here we can see we have this division with a class of cta so we need to change the width of this division if you scroll up here we can see the selector so i'll just copy the selector from here and right now we have this width of 450 pixels so here inside this media query i just paste this selector and here i'll just have width and i'll just set the width to 356 pixels and now let's go back to our browser and let's decrease the width of the browser window and now we can see we have the correct width for the CTA right now let's add the styles for the smartphone version so I'll just decrease the width of the browser window even more and here let's create a comment I'll just type smartphone version and let's create a media query so I'll just type at media max width of 720 pixels now let's go back to our Figma file and uh, let's go to the smartphone version and here we can see for the smartphone version we have full width for this CTA and from the left and the right we have a gap of let's see what is the gap so here we can see we have a gap of 32 pixels from the left and the right so let's go back to our source code and let's paste the selector and I'll just type width and I'll just set the width to unset and I'll just set the right position to 32 pixels and left position to 32 pixels and now we can see this is how it looks we have a gap of 32 pixels from the left and the right now we'll also change the font size of this heading so let's go back to the figma file and let's select this heading and uh, let's go to inspect and here we can see for the heading we have a font size of 32 pixels so let's go back and uh, right now the heading font size is 40 pixels so I'll just copy this selector and I'll just paste it down here and let's tap font size of 32 pixels and now it looks alright right now we need to make some changes in the navbar as well so let's go to the navbar.css file and here let's create a comment I'll just tap tablet version and let's create a media query so I'll just tap at media max width of 1040 pixels now if you go back to the index.css file and if we go to this uh, wrapper here we can see for the tablet version we have a width of 694 pixels so we need to add the same width to the nav so let's go back to navbar.css and uh, here I'll just tap nav and I'll just set the width to 694 pixels and uh, now if you go to the tablet version here we can see for the navbar we have a width of 694 pixels and for the desktop version we have a higher width now let's go ahead and style the smartphone version so for the smartphone version here we can see that the menu items are not being displayed so let's go back and uh, if you go to the navbar.jsx file here we can see for the menu items we have this ul so we need to hide this ul which is inside the nav so let's create a comment and just type smartphone version and let's type at media max width of 720 pixels and let's type nav ul and I'll just set the display to none right now let's go back to our browser and uh, now we can see when we are on smartphone version we don't have the menu items displayed now we also need to change the width of the nav so here let's type nav now here for the width I'll just type unset and uh, let's type left of 32 pixels and uh, right of 32 pixels let's go back to the figma file and let's see what is the gap from the top 
So from the top, we have a padding of 16 pixels. So let's tap top and 16 pixels. So this is how it looks. So we have the tablet version and we have the smartphone version. Right now we need to display the mobile menu icon over here when we are on a smartphone version. So let's go back to the navbar.jsx file. And here, after this UL, let's go ahead and create a division. And let's give it a class name of menu icon. And in this, I'll just add the menu icon. So let's go over here to the top and let's import the icon. So I'll just type import. And here I'll just type menu icon from dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash assets. And let's use it over here. So I'll just type IMG. And in the SRC, I'll just type menu icon. Right now, let's go back to our browser. And here we can see we have the menu icon displayed. If you open the tablet version, here also we have the menu icon displayed. So for the tablet version, we need to hide the menu icon. So let's go back to the CSS file. And here for the desktop version, I just type menu icon. And I just set the display to none. And now we can see the menu icon is not displayed over here. Now for the smartphone version, we need to display it. So here for the smartphone version, Let's tap nav, menu icon, and let's set the display to block. And now if you go back, here we can see the menu icon is displayed. And if I go to the tablet version, it is not being displayed. So it is only displayed for the smartphone version. Right now, let's go ahead and create the mobile menu bar. So if you go back to the Figma file, here we can see this is how the mobile menu items look. So let's go back and let's go to the navbar.jsx file. And here after this nav, let's create a div with a class name of mobile menu container. And here we can see we have this error. That's because we are returning two elements. We have this nav and also this div. So we will include all of this inside a React fragment. So I'll just type less than, greater than. And I'll just cut the ending tag from here. And I'll just paste it over here. Right now in this mobile menu container, the first thing we will do is we will add the close icon. So this icon right here. So let's import the icon. So I have just named it close icon. And let's scroll down and uh, let's create a division for that. And I'll just give it a class name of close icon. And let's type IMG and for the source, let's type close icon. Now we can go ahead and copy and paste this UL from here. And uh, I'll just paste it over here after this close icon. And here for the UL, I'll just add a class name of menu items. Now here we can see for these anchor tags, we have set the href to hash. Now we need to set the href of all these anchor tags to the correct element. So if you open any of these uh, sections from here, here we can see for each of the sections, we have an ID. So we can directly target these IDs. So here, let's type hash and for the course details we have an id of topics and for about we have an id of info and for blog we have an id of blog and for testimonials we have an id of testimonials and we need to do the same for the mobile version as well so i'll just copy these list items and i'll just paste it over here right now let's go ahead and style this now if you go back to our browser here we can see that the mobile menu items are displayed over here. So let's go ahead and target this mobile menu container division. And before styling that, let's go ahead and hide it in the desktop version. So here I'll just type mobile menu container. And we have set the display to none. Right now let's scroll down and for the smartphone version, let's type mobile menu container. And uh, let's set the display to flex. And we'll set the position to fixed. And we'll set the Z index to a higher value so that it is above all the other elements. And if you go back to the Figma file, here we can see we have this dark background color. So I'll just tap background and I'll just set the color to the variable that we created called dark color. And uh, here we can see this is how it looks. Now we need to set the left position to zero and the right position to zero. And let's also add some padding. So let's go back to the Figma file and uh, here we can see we have a padding of 32 pixels from the left and the right. 
and from the top and bottom we have a padding of 58 pixels I'll just round it to 60 pixels so let's type padding of 60 pixels and 38 pixels or 32 pixels right now let's style the UL so let's type mobile menu container and for the UL I think we have a class of menu items so let's type menu items and first of all let's remove the bullets so I'll just type list style and I'll just set it to none and I'll also remove the padding and the margin that comes by default right now let's style this close icon so we need to position it to the right side so let's type mobile menu container close icon and let's set the position to fixed and let's set the top position to 32 pixels and let's set the right position to 32 pixels as well so here we can see we have the close icon right now let's style these uh, anchor tags so here we can see we have the list items and in that we have the anchor tags so I'll just type mobile menu container menu items LIA and let's go back to our Figma file and let's get the styles so let's select this text let's go to inspect and let's scroll down and here are the styles so I'll just copy these styles from here and uh, let's paste it over here and we also need to add some padding so if we select this if we go to design here we can see we have set a padding of 30 pixels so let's try that I'll just type padding 30 pixels and 0 and here we can see that the padding is not being applied that's because uh, anchor tags are inline elements by default so we have to set it to display of inline block and now we have the padding I think the padding is a little bit too much so I'll just set the padding to let's try 20 pixels and I think that looks alright so let's also change the color so I'll just tap color and let's set it to white All right so that's basically it with the mobile navigation menu so with that we have completed designing the header for the smartphone and the tablet versions now in the next video we will see how to make these menu items work so when we click on the menu icon we need to display this mobile menu items and when we click on this close icon it should go back so we will do that in the next video alright so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day